Well, both Republicans and Democrats, both left-wingers and right-wingers, uh, use this tactic of um, trying to discredit uh, their opposition. And they're very good at it. And uh, they know that if you come to the point where there is a serious debate underway about a, a serious issue, the best thing is back away from the debate, stay away from the issues because they will lose. So they start attacking their opponent's character or their intelligence or they try and look for something in their past to make them seem like they're uh, evil people. And it's, it's called demonizing. You demonize the opposition. This is an old tactic that's been going on for a long, long time. And uh, yes, I, I've seen it uh, uh, over the years um, where they have uh, tr taken a group like the John Burt Society, and, uh, which is just an educational organization, but it, it was an educational organization dealing with principles and real historical facts. And they pretty well succeeded in convincing everybody in America that the, the Birchers were a bunch of... Uh, uh, at the, the least, they were a bunch of little old ladies in tennis shoes, but at worst, they were a bunch of Nazis and fascists and racists, and they were even called communists. And so it didn't make any difference. You just call them some name. And if you keep doing that often enough, and in major channels of communication, most people will believe it. So that's a tactic that's uh, well used, and I think we have to be alert to it. Also, we have to be alert to the fact that the people that we're talking about, these these elitists, it's hard to find a better word, but the, the ones who want to really control this international collectivist government, um, they are not dumb. They have a lot of money, and they have think tanks that work out strategies. And one of the strategies they have always used is to lead their own opposition. And they try to lead their own opposition because, they, first of all, they know there's going to be opposition, so why wait around? Why wait around for real opposition to develop? If you know what's going to happen, send your own people out there and let them pretend to be your opposition, and everybody will follow them, especially if they're well-funded, and if they give the right speeches and say the right words, you know, those nice, those nice um, campaign speeches, for example. Uh, so, but they're really controlled by the very people they're speaking against. I came across that when I was doing research for the Federal Reserve System, because I realized that in the early days, the very bankers who put together this cartel and drafted the Federal Reserve Act, it was their bill. When it came time to promote it to the public, they funded um, and actually delivered their own opposition. Some of these bankers went forth and started giving speak, speeches and interviews to newspaper um, reporters saying, oh, this bill is bad. It's bad for America. It's going gonna, it's gonna to damage uh, the economy. And they knew that the average person reading that in the newspaper would say, oh my, my goodness, Maud, listen to this. These bankers don't like the Federal Reserve Act very much. Hmm, must be, must be pretty good, you know? So they play this game. So we know that this is still going on today. And for example, in the Tea Party movement, if, um, if they want to discredit it, if they can't control it, okay, let's say if one of the parties can't control it, they'll have to discredit it. So they will, and I believe already have attempted, to send people into the Tea Party movement who are real wackos or pretend to be real wackos. Or if they're real wackos out there, they make sure that they're brought in to the Tea Party movement. And every time there's a media crew going out there with their cameras taking pictures, do they take pictures of the, uh, you know, the 10,000 uh, middle-class Americans who know what they're talking about? Or do they pick the two or three wackos over here with the tinfoil hats? Or, or the guys with the swastikas on their arm and so forth. That's where they focus, you see. And I believe that some of those people are probably sent in there on purpose, just to demonize and discredit the movement. Now, this is hard for most mm, Americans to, to believe, because they don't realize that this is really hardball. This political game is hardball, and they don't realize that it is a game and that there are professionals playing it.